Uh, well, hello and welcome to Track Chat, brought to you by BagsRacing.com. Uh, you join us at a rather chilly toaster, but we've had a quite sensational ECC Puppy Derby final car. The big race to come, of course, a strong supporting car, not least to see the Kent Derby champion uh, bounce back after a rather unlucky defeat, I think, at Perry Bar last week. We're, of course, talking about Patrick Jansen's Bocco's Alfie. Yeah, Bocco's Alfie, he deserved this. He was brilliant from the bottom. Look at his early pace, Hobbsy, Trap 3. We know how fast he is early. He's always had trouble. Patrick yeah, Jansen has, has mentioned it a few times, doesn't he, about going around turns, this dog. He doesn't run the bends that well. If he did, he be an absolute superstar he has to rely on the pace he's got on the straights but boy has he got some pace on the straights and he held on gamely uh, from a dog who's been over further isn't he razzle dazzle valiant yep. who's now with mark waters think ex ricky holloway dog that's right over in further second. coronation cup of course we know that razzle dazzle valiant stays and uh, sally nash has run a good race so kevin hutton uh, um Beg your pardon, Mark Wallace, of course, training the second and the third uh, behind uh, Patrick Jansen's um, uh, winner, Bocco's Alpha, who did the business, of course, Patrick. He used to work for, for Mark as well, so I think he would have enjoyed getting one over on uh, his old boss there. Now, talking of Kevin Hutton, Kevin Hutton had two runners in the Puppy Derby final. Of course, Trap 2 was a favourite magical bail. He also had Hedford Kev running out of Trap 6, but there was plenty of uh, opposition, of course, to the two, not least from Lightfoot Kevin out the boxes what would he do in the red jacket end zone the answer is he'd swerve markedly to his right but he blitzed the boxes look at that it was a great trapping ability but then he just goes walk about he loses his bearings a little bit and he just allows magical bail the room on the inside but trap two does he take a full advantage look at the pace of magical bail down the far side this is electric this is a top-notch performer in the making i use the word sensational and, and that that is absolutely apt when it comes to the performance of magical bail because in just his fourth race his third when he's won the puppy derby the richest uk uh, puppy race and uh, he's played an absolute wow. blinder to be innocent times and affleck uh, bolt running out of trap three but you could see light for king the sheffield raider trained right by elaine him, parker going right across its field and, and thankfully i suppose in many ways um, you know, Magical Bale did just miss the beat and, and that's then allowed him all the room to manoeuvre going into that first bend and that electric burst of pace has got on the inside. You have to consider the Sheffield Dog a little bit unlucky then to be sandwiched between the two and the six, the two Kevin Hutton train runners. He was going to backpedal thereafter, but the winner had flown and then ultimately came down markedly in the betting for next year's uh, Star Sports English Derby. Great success for Kevin Hutton. It's continued a pretty good year, of course. Dorota's Wildcat winning the uh, select stakes and the Derby Plate here as, well. here as well. Yeah. And the Trainers' Championship to boot. So in terms of his toaster success, the toaster-based handler, uh, Absolutely delighted with the performance of, of uh, Magical Bale for the Westwell Racing Club Syndicate. And they were out in force at the presentation. They were, yeah. That's Terry Weber was here, David Anderson as well. 33 to 1, you're saying, for the derby next year. That's, that's how high the bookmakers have got him rated as well. I mean, that was some performance tonight, wasn't it? By yeah, Magical it was. Bale. And... Uh, uh, of course, Kevin paid tribute to Pat Gilfoyle, who, who got in the, the grey and passed it on to, to Kevin for big money, I'm sure. But nevertheless, of course, that's the uh, uh, the combination that uh, won the Irish Derby this year with, uh, with good news. Now, where are we going next? That's the big question. Uh, they talk about the race of the decade, certainly the best four-bend race of the year by the Derby, and perhaps even in terms of uh, traps one to six, Enzo, maybe even better than yeah. the Derby final. It's a sensational bet for clips on Tuesday night. Yeah, I can't wait for this. We've got the two Calico dogs. We've got Dorota's Wildcat in the race. We've got Bruiser's Bullet has come back from the sidelines for Mark Wallace. Bubbly Bluebird beaten favourite in the race itself last year and Dorota's Wildcat lining up. It's a, it really wow. is an extraordinary lineup, I have to say. And, uh, you know, barring the defending champion, it's a, it's a top six that you would have had going into the yeah. semi-finals, I'm sure, of that. Now, the big question is, uh, as I bid you good night and thank you to Ennis, who will win the Betfred Eclipse? Come on, everyone's got to have a view. It's the, it's the best race of the year. We'll who, see who you Who are you Nottingham. with? Who are you with? Wildcat? Ah, that would be telling. <sighs> Wildcat.